which one is important the english speaking practice or your grammar now you got the answer which one is more important and something that is going to help you improve your fluency completely change your fluency game hello everybody how are you all hope you're doing great so welcome back to another session of learning english and improving your english speaking skills with me in today's lesson i have something that is very important for your english fluency journey you want to speak fluent english something that is very important that is grammar or speaking practice speaking practice or grammar what is more important where you should focus more and which aspect of english is required to speak fluent english is it your grammar or your speaking practice now are they important are they really important are they equally important well it depends according to some situations the answer is both yes and no now how to know which aspect of english you need to pay attention towards more and which aspect of english you need to improve in order to speak fluent english for that i have brought this lesson today for all of you so are you all ready for this i'm shivangi gupta your celta certified english language tutor certified by the university of cambridge the uk and before beginning please subscribe the channel so that you do not forget to check out all the lessons that i post for you on the channel please like the video and share it with your friends too now coming back to today's lesson that whether grammar or whether speaking practice is important what is more important to speak fluent english well if i have to answer that grammar or speaking practice what is important out of these two i will say that both of them are important now the proportion may vary like i've said the answer is both yes or no if you're just at the beginner stage that obviously you are not if you're able to understand this particular video obviously you're watching this video you're not at the beginners level you are somewhere between a1 and b1 you are above a1 i would say you are at a2 right you're not at the intermediate level just yet but you're not at least at the beginners level so first of all take this out of your mind that if you're able to understand english you're not at beginners level because a beginner would never be able to understand english in itself right you're watching this video particular video now what you want to do is you want to speak fluent english at this particular point speaking is very important for you inculcating speaking practice in your daily schedule is absolute necessity that is necessity for you necessity at this particular point you can leave grammar out of the question and take it later on now when i say grammar there are so many concepts so many concepts and you are not required not really to learn everything and a lot of times why people are scared of grammar because they directly jump onto the complex concepts which are not even required to speak fluent english so if it's not for your academic purpose you do not even require to learn all those complex concepts now i will tell you which concepts you need to learn which ones to avoid i will tell you everything in details when i'll come to the grammar part of this particular lesson let's first discuss about speaking practice how much to do what to do when it is absolutely necessary well i would say speaking practice is necessary all of the time if you are at a1 level a2 level b1 level b2 level c1 level c2 level it does not matter speaking practice is important it's the most important aspect of learning english why because this is going to hone your speaking skills a language when you're learning is just not something to learn it's not just a subject where you're just gaining the knowledge basically language is a skill why because you have to speak you have to communicate and in order to speak fluently communicate properly in this particular language that is english you need to do your speaking practice so speaking practice is absolutely necessary in order to improve your speaking skills whenever you are speaking 
so that you can speak for longer period of time again speaking practice is required so that you can speak with confidence again speaking practice is required why because speaking practice will ensure that you are holistically developing all the areas of english speaking so whatever is required to speak english confidence is required your intonation must be proper fluency accuracy everything comes with time along with the speaking practice so you are doing your speaking practice which is absolutely important so to say that whether grammar is important or speaking practice is important i would say speaking practice is definitely very important the most important aspect of learning english so start your speaking practice from today you're watching this video and if you are not indulging in the speaking practice you need to indulge yourself you need to take up speaking practice techniques now i have discussed ample and ample of speaking practice techniques i come up with all the new techniques speaking practice techniques from time to time so we have a complete playlist you have so many lessons on different speaking practice techniques and these techniques are very important so take up these techniques and start practicing english from today because speaking practice is the most important aspect of learning english like i've told you now let's come to grammar is grammar not important then well grammar is definitely important too like i've told you learning complex grammar is not important what kind of grammar are you focusing on that is also important so when i say grammar i would not want you to learn about compound sentences and this and that right don't go for the complex kind of concepts no what you're supposed to focus is on the basic grammar basic concepts these are the concepts which will help you speak fluent english because we don't really need complex grammar structures to speak fluent english they are for your written english and that is when you need it academically you do not need it academically then definitely you should stick with basic english grammar now suppose you were doing your speaking practice like i've told you before if you are at a2 level you reached b1 level that's the intermediate level now you've reached intermediate level at this point it's very important for you to focus on your what basic grammar because what kind of difference will just that speaking practice is going to make something that you're already doing you need some kind of improvement you need to take your game up okay level up the game and for that basic grammar is the solution so basic grammar is important again do not get scared when i say grammar because learning basic grammar can be really easy if you're learning it in the correct manner that basic grammar is going to help you form correct sentences and use correct and fluent english why because when your basic grammar is clear you have this confidence of speaking accurate english and when you know that you will speak accurate english fluency will also come with it because you are sure about it whatever you're speaking that's why in order to give strength to your english whatever you're speaking you need to cover basic grammar too basic grammar is important now from where to get basic grammar how to know what is basic grammar how to know what is functional grammar now functional grammar means basic grammar like i've told you but functional grammar is the grammar the basic grammar that is required to speak fluent english so grammar that enables you to speak english that is known as functional grammar and from where to get that these basic grammar series lessons i've launched for you you have a complete playlist i have more than 20 25 lessons and i keep on adding lessons to this particular series so the grammar concepts that i am covering in this particular series is important for your fluency they are totally focused on english speaking not just learning english as a subject no these grammar lessons are practical lessons where how practically you are using all these components of english in a sentence and how you can speak accurate and fluent english using all these components i'm telling you everything in that so i suggest if you want to improve your basic grammar and clear all your basic grammar concepts do check out all the lessons in this particular series the basic grammar series that i've launched for you on youtube so you can get all the lessons from my youtube channel do check them out and 
create a balance between both your speaking practice and your grammar. So to answer your question, which was there at the beginning, which one is more important, speaking practice or grammar? I would say they both are important and they both play a very important role in your speaking fluency. The thing is that knowing the correct manner in which you have to address both the aspects of English. To know when do you require the speaking practice and when do you require your basic grammar is very important. So taking up both the practices at the correct time in your learning journey is important. So both are important. Pay attention to both of them. Your speaking practice, English speaking practice and your basic grammar. Remember, add just little word. A prefix I would say before grammar that is basic, basic grammar. And do not be scared of grammar. It's actually easy to learn the basic grammar. So check out all the lessons, improve your English. And that is, that was the lesson for today. I hope this answers your question. Which one is important? The English speaking practice or your grammar? Now you got the answer, which one is more important and something that is going to help you improve your fluency, completely change your fluency game. So that's it. That is it. I'm going to meet you again in a new lesson. Till then, everybody, take care and bye.